सो एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे बट द प्रोसेस स्टार्ट फ्राम रिमूविंग अ लॉड ऑफ स्टाफ यू मे और मे नॉट नीड टू रिमूव दिस मच स्टफ बट आई एम एक्चुअली गोइंग टू रिमूव मोस्ट ऑफ दैन वट आई नीड जस्ट बिकॉज आई नीड टू शो इट ऑन कैमरा As we can see now, the next thing we need to do is remove our ECM and ECM uh, adapter, which helps to mount the ET ECM on your firewall. So we are going to do it next. to remove the ecm uh, bracket what you need to do is you can see there are these plastic clips and locks so you need to just lift the plastic lock upwards and pull the whole uh, bracket out so as we can see the sound insulation provided by the manufacturer is kind of hanging so that is what i noticed uh, it was not sticking to the surface properly so now we are going to remove this sound insulation uh, actually my car has sound insulation in two parts for the lower firewall uh, it is different and for the upper firewall or you can say from the back side of the cowl top it is totally different in its different piece i guess i mean to say so why uh, we need to uh, remove this and add another layer of insulation uh, here it so the cowl top is quite thin metal sheet so it helps the engine noise to resonate a lot and after resonating after amplification due to the empty space inside the cowl top uh, those uh, engine noise enters the cabin after getting amplified so you will hear a lot more of your engine than often so we are going to remove this uh, now what next thing we need to do is there are a couple of pipes we need to remove <laughs> so there is a brake booster pipe going so we can just remove it like that and same on the other side and there are a clip there are actually two clips more than two or depending upon your vehicle you may have to observe first how many clips or retainers you have to remove uh, this is the clip i was talking about let me zoom in a little so for removing this clip what you want to do is just grab it if they are tight so you can pinch your screwdriver from this side and rotate it counter clockwise so this is the way you remove these clips uh, once it get loose it'll be a lot easier to rotate by hand but keep in mind these are made of uh, thin metal sheets so they are quite sharp so now moving on to the uh, brake side we have a 10 mm bolt uh, 
which actually is a retaining bracket for the electrical connector so we need to remove that this is a plastic bolt uh, you don't need to over tighten it when you are placing it back on its position again so there is a kind of body ground situation body ground uh, bolt like stuff on which it is tied down so you may need to pull it out a little hard i'll show you how it looks like i hope you can see it so just below that uh, electrical connector we just put aside there is also one more pipe so we need to remove it by uh, removing it removing it from the uh, this zip lock or cable tie which is actually reusable it has a uh, kind of clip to unlock there's one more uh, there's one more retaining clip with which we need to open so i'm going to remove it and then show you and after all the retaining clip removal and uh, one pipe of vacuum for the brake booster we can now remove the complete insulation from the vehicle So this is the sound insulation material. So now what we are going to do is as we know we have thermo acoustic blanket still left. Uh, in the last video I told you about that uh, fender liner is actually not the perfect application for the thermal acoustic blanket but engine compartment definitely is. So we're going to use this blanket uh, to trace uh, the same shape on the thermo acoustic blanket then what we need to do is we'll clean the surface before sticking any new thing upon and then we're going to stick the thermo acoustic blanket on that I've cleaned it but if you want to go a little further you can give it a isopropyl alcohol or rub so there's no sticky surface uh, before you apply your uh, thermoacoustic blanket so I just removed the intake pipe that goes to the turbo coupler just for the better access of the workspace we need to work with so it all always depends upon you and your vehicle what you want to remove and how good of your work you want to do how better quality of work you want to do so plus the time you have So our rough template is ready now what we need is to peel back the 
peel the back layer off it has a self sticking surface beneath we just need to stick it on and we are going to start from this side and slowly remove the back peeling and move to the other direction So what we have to do next is we are going to place the original sound insulation on top of it so in total we are now getting two layers of sound insulation plus one layer of thermal insulation as well so i'm gonna put back everything on its place As the sound insulation is on its place now we just have to put back all the screws and retaining clips and the respective pipes on their positions so everything is done now the original insulation is also back in place i really like this kind of stuff when you have done something to improve your vehicle but uh, from the outer side or from the visual side you can't even tell if anything has been done so this is how uh, we try to do cabin noise reduction uh, this is the part 3 if you haven't watched part 1 and 2 uh, so kindly check the description I'm, I'm leaving down the links see you soon